A&M is still working to restore power to hundreds of customers across the state following yesterday's wild winds. PNM has brought in 25 extra crews to try to replace downed poles and lines. In the meantime, some without power have no way to operate their wells or their heaters. News 13's Selena Westervelt is here with more. Kim, yesterday at the peak of the storm, more than 3,300 customers were in the dark. Now there are still about 300 without power, and some of them have been that way for more than 24 hours. The sound of power for Star Brown. It's been pretty bad. We have no heat. We're not able to heat. We're not able to take showers. We're not able to cook. She runs the Nature Point Event Center in Harris. And we've been without the electricity since 12 o'clock yesterday. And was forced to supplement her electricity to keep expensive food from spoiling. I just hope that that none of it rent, you know, and then the other one's full with a lot of stuff. Then, just before noon today, we're uh, a wedding venue here, so we. Oh, I'll be darned. How magical is that? <laughs> the lights came back on. It was also a relief to the owners of the Route 66 Travel Center at Cedillo Hill. We may have some uh, losses in our ice cream. Their power had been down since 4 yesterday afternoon. That means no gasoline. And it's not just PM crews that are rushing to clean up today. Michael Lancaster had quite the scare yesterday afternoon. I heard a crack and I looked outside. And sure enough, two huge pines fell in his backyard near Candelaria and San Pedro. First, the one he's cleaning up today, then. Maybe an hour later, another neighbor came and said a tree fell, and I thought she was talking about that one. It turns out there was a second tree that fell on the Candelaria and blocked the whole front end road and everything. The city took care of that one because it was on the street, but Lancaster says it's definitely going to be a long day. Do you ever think you'd have to deal with this? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Now, PNM says those customers will be without power. Who are without power may not get it back until tomorrow afternoon because, in those cases, crews are having to go house to house to turn it back on. Kim? Okay, thanks, Selena. And our viewers continue to send.